125 main event from Anaheim, California is set to go. We take a look at our Suzuki starting grid. They're all there. Stefan Roncada, Nathan Ramsey, Travis Preston, Andrew Short, who will be running the helmet camp, Brock Sellers, and Ivan Tedesco, just to name a few. And that's a lot of talent on the line as the 30 board goes sideways. We are set to go racing. Take a look at the Anaheim option. I can say one thing, Tedesco gets a much better start this time, but I think the whole shot's going to go to his teammate, number 21, Stefan Roncada, and the Kawasaki Green is out front flying. So right out of the gate, both the Pro Circuit Kawasaki guys getting great starts, putting the track to the ground. And uh, you know what? This could... You know, Roncada said he really wants to work on this. He needs to look forward, not worry about what's happening behind him, but right now behind him is Ivan Tedesco, and watch him carry his speed to whoops. Can, can Roncada match his speed? Look at him, he's looking great, actually. Tedesco dropping a little bit more than him in the whoops, which is gonna take a little bit more time. As they come into the green flag lab, picking up the Butterfinger hole shot of Stefan Roncada, he's the first man to see the green flag, and I'll tell you what, out front, it is all green, and Mitch Payton has gotta be loving this. The team manager is Kawasaki, and they decided to split the course. We'll see how this works out. The Dirtworks crew says they're exactly the same, but you get the inside line coming through, and Roncada going inside. Now watch the triple here. So double, triple it through there, and looks like Roncada almost moved into that line to try to take it away. Well, let's take a look at the Butterfinger hole shot one more time because it was Nathan Ramsey, number 25, on board the Honda. He goes down right in the middle of your pitcher. He gets pinched off. Look at his front tire just gets pushed right into Roncada, and he goes down hard to the inside with nowhere to go, and it could have been a lot worse for Nathan Ramsey. He got tagged by one of those Yamahas, too, while he was down, and tough break for Nate, but right now, you got a guy who is very good at controlling his throttle in second place. We talked to a few people around, and Ivan Tedesco is a guy that rides over the front of his motorcycle, a really aggressive rider, but he doesn't have to just chop on the throttle. He rolls it on very nicely. It works great with that four-stroke, so we'll see if he can control it. But Stefan, no slouch either. Right now, let's send it down quickly to Jamie Little. Hey, Todd, this is the fifth week we've used this dirt here in Anaheim. Two monster trucks and now Supercross. The rocks are coming up, the temperature is dropping, and it's getting slick out there. Uh, slick indeed. Good report, Jamie. And we've watched the green out in front. 21, Stefan Roncada. Ivan Tedesco's teammate right behind. Who does his favor? Because here comes Travis Preston. He is absolutely blitzing the whoop section. Well, Cameron looks like they're having a little parade lap right now. And I think the next time they come around, the pits are going to say 62 is closing in quick. He definitely is the last lap. Preston was fastest. He set the fastest lap time in this main event basically a 59 so he is pulling up on the teammates and Tedesco electing to follow Roncada through maybe thinking I just work off his lines and Preston goes the same way and Preston has been looking awesome in the whoops in practice today he was just shocking how quick he was going so the Kawasaki's are one and two Stefan Roncada your leader he picked up the Butterfinger hole shot in second place Ivan Tedesco the man who is four for four and then it's number 62 on board the Honda. That is Travis Preston. The question is, will 11 laps be enough for Travis Preston to close in on these two guys? Well, one thing to watch on the next lap in that rhythm section and then the section following, Tedesco is using different lines in Roncado. We talked about how one line this course is. We'll see if it works for him, but actually looks like he's dropping back a little bit from Roncada. And right now, Preston coming on a tear. And I think this works better for Travis Preston. We've talked about how big he is and how well he does in the whoop section. This guy's like 6'2", could be playing for the Lakers. Travis Preston right now sitting in third place. I think this sets his mindset better, being a pursuer rather than a pursuee. Nonetheless, this is a third of the way through the 125 main event from Anaheim, California. That man is your leader, Stefan Roncada, with his teammate right behind him, number 29, Ivan Tedesco. We'll step aside, take a quick break. When we come back, we'll see how it all plays out. Welcome back to Anaheim, California, the 125 main event. Stefan Roncada continues to lead. Ivan Tedesco, give the man credit. He is trying all kinds of different lines, whether it's the dirt conditions that Jamie Little reported on moments ago.
to go or if Ivan's just testing some things out. Nonetheless, Travis Preston is closing in and once again he has turned the fastest lap time. Well, we've seen Ivan work in those sections differently than his teammate, and he moves up pretty close, then Roncada gets away a little bit and throw the whip there, not for style, but to scrub speed, and when I say scrub speed, they're trying to stay as low as possible and get back to the ground as quick as possible because when your wheels aren't turning on the ground, you are losing time. Stefan Roncada continues to lead here in Anaheim, California. As we take a look at our TSO running order, it's Roncada, Tedesco, Preston, and Sellers, the top four. Adams, number 61, right now checking in at five. And I think Ivan Tedesco, do you think he's running out of patience here? Is it time, Cameron? He's going to just wait to maybe find the perfect line and then just blow past him, or can he do it? Well, I don't. if he could do it, he would have done it already. I don't think he's biding his time, so to speak. He's racing. He's done laps where he's raced in the exact same line. He's raced in outside lines. You see Josh Hansen crawling through the whoops there. We talked about his broken hand, but now Tedesco moving up on the inside. And when we get later in the race, it may be a fitness thing. Ivan Tedesco has all the talent in the world. And here we go. He's going for the pass on the inside, keeping it clean. Their teammates, now Roncada has the inside. Takes him a little bit high, Todd. Step on Roncada, gains back the lead. And I got to ask you, Cameron, if that was a Honda or a KTM, would Ivan Tedesco still be in second? Well, it would have maybe been a little bit rougher. They did a good job keeping the race and clean, but Ivan knows that Preston's coming from behind. He's got to get by and get away from here. Now, here we go. Double O. And you see Ron Cotter yep. drift to the outside and block Tedesco's attempt at the triple-triple. So basically what happened there is Tedesco loses time by going to the outside but still only doing that double because Ron Cotter filled that spot. Well, if Stefan Ron Cotter is feeling the heat from his teammate and wondering why he's pushing him so hard, Ivan Tedesco says, look in the rearview mirror. 62 pressure is coming up fast. Let's watch Preston as he enters these whoops. See him carry the speed, he keeps going. Get a little bit of a kick there, but not bad. Great control of the bike, you can see the pass there on the other side. Oh! Roncada coming back with a little bit of rubbing. Well, we may both be wearing green, but he's not gonna give it to him that easy. Step on Roncada, number 21, continues to lead his teammate Ivan Tedesco right behind him. And Roncada coming basically to a stop on that flat corner, and there was his teammate. Now look, the lapper is in the way. Tedesco commits, but then he cannot triple through there. Wow. Awesome race. He looked going to the outside. Here comes Preston also following that outside line. They're going to need space, and they're going to need to run these whoops very quickly. Tedesco coming in almost right behind and oh trying my. to get to the outside as Roncada bobbles just a bit. It's too slippery for him to take the inside line. He has to go to the outside line to Tedesco. A slight bobble there, and here's Preston closing even closer. Now what's happening right now is Roncada is riding defensively, and this is when he has problems, he said. He's got to look ahead of him, but obviously with his teammate right behind him, and now the urgency level is going to come up with Ivan. The signs of a true champion, keep it together, keep it smooth. He decides not to follow his teammate because he's been running into his back tire there. Ivan having problems of his own there. Will we see a pass for second place? Look at Preston, almost shuts the door on Tedesco. He just barely gets through. So Stefan Roncada, Ivan Tedesco, and Travis Preston putting on quite a show. And I don't know who I'm more impressed with, the defensive writing of Roncada, the pursuit of Ivan Tedesco, or the pure tenacity of Travis Preston. Todd, it is, this is awesome. With the way these guys are riding right now, it could be anybody's game. And one thing, we have about four laps left. Roncada doesn't seem to be fading. He's just got to pay attention with his teammate right there. All very smart riders, all seasoned veterans. Well, I agree with you, Cameron. I think if Ivan Tedesco could have got the pass by now, he would have. Give Stefan Roncada all the credit in the world. He picked up the Butterfinger hole shot, and he has led throughout, and he has held off the man who has not lost a race this year in the main event. And there it is again. They come together, all three of them having to hit the brakes. That's a problem, definitely, when they get together there. Here we go. Tripling. Will it work? He goes switch to the inside. You see him switching lines midway through there, but it doesn't pay off for him. So Stefan Roncada with just three laps to go leads. He is followed by Ivan Tedesco and Travis Preston. The finale when we come back. Welcome back to Anaheim, California. It's like a heavyweight slugfest. Moments ago, Ivan Tedesco gets the job done. It took him 13.
15 laps to do it, but he got it done. He moved ahead of his teammate, but so did Travis Preston. So here it is. One more time, Cameron. Take a look at it. He has the run coming in out of the whoops. He comes in and takes a little bit of edge, pushes his teammate to the outside, it looks like that, or there's a problem with Ron Cotta's bike. It really looked like he pushed him out, and then Preston, with the momentum, comes up and swings underneath. Ron Cotta doesn't give, give in right away, but he does move back to third place. Preston making it sick. Now the question is, can Preston catch up to Tedesco? And with Tedesco having open room, he looks like he can get away, but there are lappers who are a factor here. Well, this is a great battle indeed. Ivan Tedesco, the man trying to keep the streak alive. Travis Preston has done a masterful job of making this race what it is. Ivan Tedesco and Travis Preston with just under two laps to go for all the marbles here in the 125 main event. Preston getting tangled up a little bit with a lap rider to slow him down. And Ivan Tedesco is going to air this one out as he comes through this corner one more time. The run and the whoops, so important, and Preston pulling up towards Tedesco. We got a lapper in the way who's not tripling. Tedesco not getting a full run through those whoops, slowing down just a little bit. Will it give time for Preston to catch up? But he's a few seconds back right now. And the white flag is out. This is the 125 main event. Your leader, Ivan Tedesco, trying to keep the streak alive with Travis Preston right behind him. Preston goes for the Anaheim option. He goes for the split. But I think Cameron this time it did not pay off because he's got two lap riders in front of him. And last lap, Tedesco three tenths of a second faster. And unless Ivan makes a mistake here, and remember the whoops are coming up where Travis has really been excelling. Ivan Tedesco lining it up perfectly, takes out a few tough blocks just to make sure, triples through there. Travis Preston can do nothing but get a good drive right here to the work section, which he does. This is a slippery corner that Travis has worked with all night. Cameron, you pointed it out. They've had to check up their speed, but I think Travis Preston may just run out of real estate here at Anaheim. He's making a huge push right now. Two unbelievable runs through the whoops. Ivan Tedesco making it five in a row. Your winner, 125 main event, Ivan Tedesco. Travis Preston right behind him in one of the best 125 mains we've seen. Stick with us, folks. We'll talk to him in just a moment when we return. Supercross on ESPN2 is being brought to you by Honda, the company that defines performance in motorcycles, ATVs, personal watercraft, and scooters. By MX Unleashed, coming February 2004 for PlayStation 2 and Xbox. And by Suzuki, maker of performance-driven motorcycle scooters and all-terrain vehicles. Welcome back to Edison International Field. The 125 West main event goes into the history books, and what a great race it was. Right now, let's check in with Jamie Little. Travis Preston once again making it up on the podium, keeping it exciting. You know, we've been watching you all day. Tremendous speed out there. What happened tonight in the race? Got a good start. Um, I was just hanging out watching Stefan and uh, Ivan just battle it out and uh, pulled myself together past Ivan. No, I passed Stefan, yeah. I'm confused. They're all green. I don't know what's going on. I guess I got second. Are you happy with that? I'm happy. Are you? I'm very happy, Travis. It's always fun to have you up here. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much, Jamie. Well done. And uh, Travis Preston seems to be confused a lot lately. As we take a look at the Honda official results, it's Ivan Tedesco picking up the victory. Travis Preston in second and Stefan Roncada in third. Sellers, Adam Short, Snell, Nye, and Ramsey. Your ninth place finisher blows, rounds out the top ten. Right now, let's send it back down to Jamie Little. Ivan Tedesco going five for five. Ivan, tonight, a lot of us scratching our heads, weren't sure if it was going to happen. Tell me about your battle with your teammate. Yeah, we came out the start one, two, and uh, I was behind him for I don't know how many laps, by 12 or so laps. And, man, it was a battle. Me and him battled the whole race, and I was just uh, glad to get by him when I did because Travis was right behind us. Were you on the gas the whole time? Were you letting him get some of that? that fun of being out front, and then you, you laid your uh, your weapon in there. Well, I just I sat, him on, sat on him for a little while, and then uh, I tried to make a few few attacks at him, and he shut me down, and 
I just tried to ride a smart race. The track was real slick tonight, and it was kind of hard to ride. And I just uh, tried to make find a good place to pass him, and finally did. So it worked out for me. Thank you very much, Jamie, and congratulations to Ivan Tedesco as we take a look at the road to Vegas. The official stop of Supercross and the point standings continue to be in the favor of Ivan Tedesco. He's got all green on except those blue Scott goggles. Well done, Ivan Tedesco. Another great race for him. Cameron, your final thoughts. Well, I think it's kind of ironic that the top three guys actually finished the same way they were in the uh, practice. The times that they laid down, a lot of people say practice times don't matter, but they did tonight.